a new video i don't know why this video is so long but there we go it doesn't matter it is what it is it's as long as i've had to make it okay so i've got some madam glam gel polishes i don't know what i'm doing with my hands right now flapping them around i've got some tips those are the gel polishes um i don't know why i'm patting this tip as well but there we go <laughs> so i have got i like to call this one belly poke but it's like belly book sounds very posh doesn't it but not when i say it i call it belly poke uh it's a nude a neutrally nude so instead of rosy nude which i like i like it a lot i'm using this one because i'm trying to use different different like colors i'm trying to stay away from colors that i use all the time or i seem to use a lot of so that people get an idea of other colors that they do not just the ones that i like to use so there we go so this is belly poke I'm a little bit out of shot here. In fact, this video is, oh, I'm watching it and I'm like, you're out of shot, Nats. Only like it two or three times. It's a little bit annoying, but I'm gonna come back here. There we go, look, she's in shot. So what I've done is, I've drawn the smile line on with my Nail Sugar Natalie Muggridge Detailer Brush. You can see a bit better on this one. And then I filled the back in with the brush from the bottle because it's just quicker and easier. So with this one, I want the line to be the same distance down the nail as this one so it's actually it's actually a little bit further up um i don't know why i thought it looked fine at the time because you notice it in a minute <laughs> i mean it's not terribly bad but it's you know anyway so look i've drawn the smile line on then i'm going to use the brush in the bottle to just fill this section in and this is quite a pigmented color so i'm trying to make sure that the layer is thin i mean it's close enough right just agree with me <laughs> and then they this one is cured this was the first one we've done so i'm just going to give this one the second coat and uh, madam glam <coughs> excuse me madam glam gel polishes cure in an led lamp for 30 seconds i believe if you're using a uv lamp you need to give it two minutes if i remember correctly i, I think i'm pretty sure it's two minutes uh what else do i need to tell you so yeah this is the second coat gonna give them both two coats you can get 30 percent off any madam glam gel polishes using my code natmug30 they also do a vip thing program kind of thing basically they you have to set up a direct debit with them and every month they'll take 29 dollars from your bank account that 29 dollars will be stored in your madam glam account so it's kind of like it kind of stores like store credit you know what i mean and then you don't have to spend it each month you can save it up for several months and then have like a splurge you know like a big order um but all the time you are a vip member you get 50 percent off everything and you get a oh this is old school by the way i love this one this is from their newest collection back to the vip thing if you are a VIP, you also get a sneak peek at any collections. You get like, you get to see the new collections they're releasing before anyone else. I think that's pretty much it. But it is, I mean, for 50% off, it's well worth it. If you don't want to, um, I do have my 30% off discount code. A lot of the time they do offers. Like if you buy over six gel polishes, you get 40% off, which will automatically be added at the checkout. So it'll kind of like override my code, but it there, it, you know, it works out better for you because you're getting 40% off. So do check out, you know, check out that as well. But anyway, back to the nails. The base color for the rest of the nails is gonna be old school. I absolutely love this one. Now, when you're going around this small line, it doesn't have to be perfect, as you can tell, because mine isn't perfect, because we are going to do, we're, we're gonna go around the small line with some gold, gel paint so you don't have to make it perfect but you want it you know as neat as you can make it try not to go over the neutral you know the belly belly pock color also i have to tell you uh this isn't my design i did see it on instagram ages ago and i took a screenshot because i fell in love with it and i've been sitting with it in my favorites for ages and i'm kind of because i'm kind of no, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit over summer because it, we don't really, where I am, honestly, right, it's, we're like almost mid-August, right? It should be, the sun should be blazing and we've just had rain for what seems like 
if it's not been rain, it's been cloudy for, for weeks. And it's like, where's the summer? So I'm kind of already looking at autumn nails. Now, these aren't actually autumn nails, but I'm kind of, you know, they're not really summer either, are they? Or are they kind of, I don't know. But anyway, I love them and I wanted to do them. And the color, some of the, a couple of the colors in the new collection, like the blue that I'm going to use is perfect for this. And I love this color as the base coat. So yeah, <clears throat> I've got a tickle in my throat. I think that was the second coat. I can't remember. Yeah. So this is the blue from the new collection. It's called Groupie. And then I grabbed all the way up and two grays. So cashmere gray is the lighter gray and sophisticated gray is the slightly darker gray. I'm going to I'm going to show you me putting these onto my palette so you can see what the colors look like. But these I love this gray. Oh, cashmere gray is probably one of my favorite kind of grays. And I really like this one. It's kind of like a muted pink. Haven't used that one for a long time, so it sort of looks like it's separated a bit. <laughs> and then this is the blue. Oh, I love the blue. Right. So then I'm kind of following, if, if I look at the set that I was inspired by or I'm recreating, I'm kind of drawing out the kind of shapes that are on those nails. I kind of want to, I mean, you can do whatever kind of blobs you want. I'm just sort of trying to make the blobs similar kind of style to what is on the set you know i don't know what i'm on about <laughs> i'm such a plum bum anyway i'm gonna do this in layers and i don't know i don't know how they done it on the original set in fact i think the original set um i can't remember the name of the person whose account it was without looking and i'm i haven't looked at it at the minute but i'm pretty sure when i looked on their account these are actually they're like the dk hang on let me have a look on my i'm just gonna look while i'm on here because i think they are i think they're decals or something along those lines i don't think they've been there we go all right okay helen helena hand dot pro let's have a quick look um <clears throat> so that's the name of the account helena han there we go or maybe they are i don't know let me find them oh god some of her nails are amazing go and check her out on instagram i'm gonna leave the there it is i'm gonna leave the link in the description box below gel polish by yeah they're decals they are actually water decals um from a company called hg professional it says on her on her what do you call it on her post so there we go um so once i've done the blue i'm not gonna remember i've got to do three four four colors so we've got the base color and then we've got four colors to create the like the camo pattern so when you're adding them don't like completely fill them out you want to make sure that you've got enough room for like the other colors and you also want to be able to see some of the color on the bottom as well so each time i have done a, a layer you know like a, a layer of color i will cure that in the lamp for a full cure then go in with a different color and i'm making sure that some of them overlap slightly because you don't want them all separate So this time I'm using the pink and I, I feel I just I love these colors so much. I try to stick to the colors that look like the original the original post and um, they didn't have a light gray in their set. But I think their base color was like like a light gray and they just but I really liked old school and I wanted to use the four colors for the camo. So yes there we go right that's gonna go in the lamp and then we're gonna finish up with the darker gray this dark gray is very pigmented and i did have issues with it wrinkling so it came out the lamp and it looked fine and then a little bit later on when i looked it had started to wrinkle so i'd clearly put the color on too thick 
so yeah when you're using the sophisticated gray use it very sparingly and yeah you don't want wrinkling if you get wrinkling you're gonna have chip it's, it's gonna peel uh, i mean this is on a design so it's not actually on the nail i mean it is on the nail but it yeah you still if you're doing this on a client you still don't want the wrinkling so when i've done that last bit i will pop this in the lamp for another 30 second cure See, it's kind of filled up the nail, but I've still got, you know, you can still see that base colour underneath. So I'm going to leave it like that. So you see when it came out the nail, out the lamp, it was fine. And it must have started wrinkling as I, yeah, as it cooled. Oh, it's so annoying. I hate it when that happens. Right, anyway, I am going to fill up this nail now. I'm going to just do this one. I'm going to do that full nail, which I've obviously done. And one, one, like, camo French nail. Is that what you call it? Camo French? It's like a French nail, but it's going to have camo. I'm going to show you me doing this as well. It's basically the same idea, only I'm just doing it on a smaller section of nail. <laughs> Obviously. Da <Duh>, da. <laughs> I'm such a numpty. Uh, anyway, I hope you all had a good weekend. What did we do over the weekend? What did we do over the weekend, Kyle? Oh, we went, oh yeah, we went to my mum's because I, I done a little live, didn't I, in the garden. God, I'm terrible. Yesterday we were just at home. But yeah, we had a good, I think we had a good weekend. It was, it was all right. We had a nice chill out day yesterday and then we spent Saturday at my mum's, Saturday afternoon at my mum's, which was lovely. Lovely. Let me know in the comments what you got up to at the weekend because I'm nosy and I like to know these things. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I think I'm happy with that. So that's going to go in for 30 seconds. Look, can you, oh look, you can see it started to wrinkle. So yeah, I'm going to fill up the other two. Look, the wrinkles. I moved it because I thought I wasn't going to show you. But I was, you know what? I'm going to show you. We all make mistakes. It happens, right? So what I done was I actually pierced a little hole in the gel polish, the wrinkly bit. And I squeezed out all the uncured grey from underneath. <laughs> so that it hopefully sat flatter. Um, and then I gave it another cure, just in case. And um, and then I, I decided to just go over with the velvet matte top coat and pretend it never happened. But it happens. You know, we all get wrinkling at some point. It's bloody annoying. You just got to make sure that you use nice thin coats of gel polish. There we go. So, yeah, this is me using the velvet matte top coat. This probably is my favourite velvet matte top coat um I'm, I'm actually nearly out but i have asked them kindly to send me another one in the next parcel so hopefully i will have an i don't know that i will actually but hopefully i'll have enough to i don't think actually i don't think i'm gonna have enough but you know what it is what it is i'll i'll work something out i could just buy some oh <laughs> uh, right that's gonna go with the lamp and then we're gonna use the gold gel paint from Madame Glam. This is a really nice gold. Like when I opened it, I was like, oh, it's going to be a horrible yellow, but it's not. It's a really nice, it's not quite champagne-y. It's not a yellow. It's a nice gold. I love it. I think it's really nice. So what we're going to do, look, you can see, you can still see the wrinkling on that one. Um, we're going to cover it in a minute, so we're not going to notice it. But you'll know about it because I've told you. So, you know, it is what it is. Using my detailer brush, I am going to just put a nice slim line around the smile line. I'm not quite sure what they used for theirs, but I like theirs. But this is the gel paint. I'm using the gel paint because this is what I've got. And obviously we're going to do it on the other one. I made a little bit of a boo-boo on this one. So I did have to, I made this bit here. This bit was wrong. It was a bit, ooh, ooh. so I do use my, I've got like a little clean up brush that I use. I just use that to neaten up. You'll see here, look, I just wet it with some isopropyl alcohol and I just thin out that line. There we go. And then that will go into the lamp. The gel paints need a 60 second cure in a, uh, in an LED lamp. So they need 60 seconds. There we go. So I was going to leave them like that because that's pretty much the original set. Only they had three, um, three, yeah, sharp nuts. Right. Anyway, um, because I've got the wrinkling, 
I thought I'm going to use some crystals just to cover it up. So I've got Preciosa Capri Gold. These are flat backs and I've got different sizes. And then I grabbed my Antique Gold Caviar Beads. These are all from the Crystal Parade. And to adhere them, I'm going to be using my Nelchemy Crystal Totalist Gem Glue. So I'm going to do like a, I'm just going to go mad and do a swoosh. I actually put more crystals on the nail than I had originally planned. <laughs> I just got a little bit carried away. So when I do a swoosh, I, some people like to do, so like, <clears throat> if you're not very confident, do it in sections. But I find that with a swoosh, I like to put the gem glue on, like all of the gem glue on, where I want the swoosh, and then work on top of the gem glue because... I can't, I find I can't, I don't know what it is, I just can't do swooshes in sections. I just, yeah. Some designs you can, I just feel like this one, I particularly I can't. I don't know, if other people might be able to, but I can't. So I'm just, I'm using my Crystal Pro from Scarlet Center. I do have a Crystal Katana, but for some reason, for nail art i prefer using my crystal pro and i like to do i like to use my katana when i'm blinging other things up like funko pop figures i yeah i really like the the wax bit on the crystal katana so i don't know what it is it's it just it's really nice but for nail art i i always seem to go for my crystal pro anyway yeah look so you can see here i'm just placing the crystals on now i want the swoosh to be like some not some yeah i suppose symmetrical ish but i kind of there's quite a lot of crystals going on in that center there but i, I want it to be i think symmetrical is the right word so yeah i'm just gonna let you watch this because i'm talking a lot and yeah it's yeah right i'll let you watch this and i'll speed it up just a little bit Okay, so when I'm happy with where the crystals are, I'm then going to place some of these little caviar beads in any any areas that I feel like need need a crystal. Uh, oh, I can't speak. It's Monday. I need to go back to bed and start again. <laughs> so if there are any big gaps where that crystal cluster is, like in the middle, then I will put some, I'll pop some caviar beads in between them. And I also like the caviar beads down the, like, on the edges as well. Just sit, sit in between each, like, where the crystals meet. I mean, you don't have to add caviar beads. I say this all the time. I just feel like they bulk the design out. They make it look a little bit fuller. But it depends. I mean, it depends. You might not like them. Your client might not like them. It's all a little bit of personal preference. It's a bit like matting iridescent glitter some people like it some people don't i actually quite like it but you might not so it's all about you know just doing what you like do it in huggies <laughs> why did you say that i don't know <laughs> so again i'm just gonna faff around all right yeah no if i've run out of like i would uh, if i've got gem glue seeping out between the crystals i will place the caviar bead in that i won't cure it and then put some more on because otherwise the caviar beads won't sit flush up to the crystals but here i am using a detail an old detailer brush to place some gem glue between the crystals i find i can be a little bit more precise with that little brush that little detailer brush thing that i've got than when i'm doing it with like the stabby end of the picker up at all but i like to pick the caviar beads up with the end of the crystal picker up at all doesn't matter what i'm using just in general as opposed to doing it with the brush but again it's all you just got to do what you find works best for you this just is just how you know i find this works best for me there we go. 
So I'm just, once I'm happy, can you see, I'm just pushing them between, you know, where the crystals sit together. There we are. And then once I am relatively happy, oh, they sparkle so nicely. I'm going to pop them in the lamp. And then I've grabbed my velvet matte top coat again because your the gem glue cures shiny. So just to cover up any shiny sections that I've got, I will just re-top coat that nail, at making sure that I butt the brush right up to the crystals but don't go over them. Doesn't matter if you go over the caviar beads, but you don't want to go over the crystals because one, they'll lose their fast, they'll lose their shine. Also, it's matte top coat, so you don't want to go over the crystals anyway. But there we go. There we are. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget you can get 5% off Crystal Parade using code NAT5, 30% off Madame Glam using code NATMUG10. I'm going to leave Helena Han Pro's link in the description box so you can find her. Have an amazing Monday and I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video. Yay! Love you all. Bye!